What's up guys, it's Unboarders here. Today I want to talk about a brand new visa proposal in Thailand that they're having for foreigners who are digital nomads, okay? It is called the Destination Thailand Visa. Now if you've never heard of this, this is being proposed right now uh, and some finalizations are having or are, are being made right now. But what it is is for digital nomads, people who are making income uh, working remotely for another company from in another country or you know whatever it is that you're doing you have some foreign source income that's not res that's not coming from Thailand okay and your plans is to be able to make Thailand your home base all right because digital nomads we move around all the time and you kind of just want to be in one place for a longer period of time because you enjoy the place. Thailand obviously is a great place to be. Now, let's talk about what the benefits of this DTV visa is and why you should think about it or why you should care about it. One, it has a long validity period, meaning it lasts five years, okay? Meaning that you can use the same visa if uh, you get out of the country and you come back in, you don't have to reapply for another one. It's because also this thing is multiple entry. So long validity period, multiple entry. Those, go, those two go hand in hand, okay? Third, the initial stay period is 180 days. Now, there are some gotchas with this. So you got some things that you gotta think about before you, you know, consider applying for this DTV visa, visa. That is, this DTV visa is not a work permit, okay? This doesn't allow you to obtain a job here in Thailand with this visa. If you did wanna do that, let's say you got the DTV and you wanted to get a job here, uh, you would, what you'd have to do is you have to convert your DTV visa into a work permit after the fact. But that cancels out your DTV visa. The other consideration with this DTV visa is that it costs 10,000 Thai bots right off the bat. Um, and if you extend it, it's another 10,000 Thai bots. So how much is 10,000 Thai bots? It's about $372 Canadian or $275 US, okay? So each time you're doing anything with this visa, it's gonna cost you that much, all right? Where in comparison to a normal extension here, which is 1,900 Thai bots only, uh, there's some trade-offs, obviously. So if you're gonna pay that much, the benefit is that you don't have to worry about the visa issue for a long time which can be a really great option for anybody who, this is like the middle ground for somebody who doesn't want to apply for the elite visa, which is like crazy expensive, or, or doesn't want to stay too short, doesn't want to have a shorter stay with just a regular visa extension process. So it's this DTV visa is like that little sweet spot right in the middle of, of the two um, visas that you can get. Now, there are some requirements to this DTV visa. That is, you need to be a minimum of 20 years old, okay? You need to have financial evidence of at least 500,000 Thai bots. Now, how much does that translate out to? That translates to about 14,000 US dollars, okay? And then also, you need to potentially provide valid employment uh, registered, registered to a company which they're sort of figuring that part out right now. That's the reason why this whole DTV visa is being held back because they don't know the clear process of that yet, which is really interesting. Now, that's really DTV visa wrapped up in, in a nutshell. But I, what I thought about with my accounting brain is that I think this DTV visa is a great scheme to be able to track foreigners with foreign income. Now, why do I say that? It's because at the beginning of this year, if you guys don't remember, I'll remind you is that starting January 1st, 2024, this year, Thailand started taxing foreign source income. That means that anybody, any Thai resident or any foreigners who reside here for more than 180 days need to pay tax, need to pay foreign tax if you're bringing your foreign source income into Thailand, all right? And this is a very interesting consideration to make because um, if you're a person who plans on being in this country for a long period of time, whatever situation you're in, this is a great way, this DTV visa is a great way for the company, the, for the government to track your 
foreign income to get a clearer picture of what your financial situation is. In this article as well, there is the tax bracket, depending on your foreign income, how much it is, uh, how much you will be taxed. So I'll put this link down below in the description for you to read as well. It's something to consider, I think, it, for the benefit of the DTV to revealing your whole financial situation. It's pretty, I don't know, it's, it's really up to you to what you think is good for you. But just know that if you're going to be staying here for more than 180 days, you'll be taxed, okay? Whereas and what people have been doing right now is just staying in Thailand for three months by getting the tourist visa, 60 days, extending it for another 30 days for total 180 days, and then leaving the country, you're in a sense non-taxable. You cannot, cannot be taxed based on the law here. Um, but now I'm not any lawyer, I'm not, you know, make sure if you're really in a situation where you have to really consider your, the net benefit of foreign source income to Thailand, consult consult a professional okay this is just a youtube video telling you there's some sort of new t visa scheme happening and to me i'm th i'm linking the dtv visa to the previous law that just happened enacted here in thailand in january so i think it's a great trade-off potentially for anybody who's in the right situation that's all i really wanted to say in this video i wanted to share that there is a new scheme for this which is great there's a new visa coming along which can be a good potential uh, thing for travelers abroad, okay? Anyways, I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and take care. Bye-bye.